What's going on everyone? It's been a little while. Today we're going to be putting on an eBay bumper, which we painted. We would have had more content out, but ran into some technical difficulties with the video and my car is broken, but that that's okay. Link in the description below for the bumper. My car is not, so it's better than Sonny's. Before we do anything else, we're gonna get the old bumper off my car, get these next to each other and do a quick comparison of them. Okay, so we got the bumper, the old bumper off. Have some key differences, namely the plastic that comes with the eBay bumper. It's a lot cheaper. You won't see it, it's more of a feel. If you're a, like a super OEM nut, that might bother you. For 99% of people, it will not matter. Honestly, the fact that it comes with trim to begin with is already impressive, given it's only $180. And then, if you come around here, a lot of the holes that are in the OEM bumper are missing so all along here it's all flat and then if you come with the oem bumper we have holes for the skid plate and then we have things here for the oem splitter which are not on the ebay bumper so we're gonna mark and drill the holes so there's something they keep in mind i don't know if oem bumpers come with those holes drilled already i would assume that they do because it's oem but i mean for the price of the eBay bumper, oh, and, and it comes with fog lights. Same brand as the black ones that we showed in the other video. So these ones are clear. So for the money, it's a, it's a pretty good bumper. And we, we painted this, used MS42 clear coat. And uh, if anyone's curious on the color, it's a Titan Silver Prime. So we're gonna go ahead and mark and drill the holes in the bumper so we can get the splitter on. The skid plate, we'll, we'll see when we get there. Okay, so what Connor is about to do is we're gonna take tape and we're gonna put it all along like here. And what that's gonna do is allow us to drill holes in here without cracking the paint. So what we'll do with the tape on is we will take these holes, well, we'll mock up the lip here onto the bumper and then we'll mark it with a Sharpie and then we'll take a drill and start drilling the holes. And that way, the reason you have to put tape on it is if you don't, you risk cracking the clear coat and that's obviously not good. But um, it should turn out really nice. That's what we're gonna do now. Okay, so we have now taped up the bumper and now we're going to mock up the splitter to here. So we got the splitter mounted on this. This is how it's going to sit when it's on the car. You can see that these are the drill points we need to mark and drill for. And when you're marking these points, you wanna make sure that the splitter is flush up against it. Cause as you can see, if I, if I just let it drop, it, it's gonna fall off and you don't wanna mark it when it's got play. So you wanna snug it up and then make sure that when you mark, you mark properly and mark in a way that you will be able to drill for. Yeah, and also make sure, because these go in at an angle, point, mark it at an angle and drill at an angle so that that's how it goes in. So that's what we're gonna do now. All right guys, so we are back. We got some Penn Station and we started drilling some holes, except not really, and I'll let Connor explain why. So we started out drilling smaller holes, a little bit smaller, they're guide holes. So why we did this is for when we're actually drilling with the size bit we want, we don't want to mess up the hole and have it not seat correctly. So we drilled smaller holes first to serve as a guide and then we can test fit the hardware as we drill out the bigger holes. So we're about to drill out the holes with the bigger bit and test fit our hardware. It is a new day. Uh, we ran out of time the other day, but let's show you what we did here for the splitter. So for the splitter, we got, we got it on obviously. So for the holes, what we had to do is someone had to hold this up because if you don't hold it up, it's gonna wanna sag and then you'll mess up your hole drills. Uh, these are M7 bolts for anyone who's curious. So what you're gonna do is generally you should start with these two first and then come over here. And what you should do is put the bolts in as you go and it will help you hold the bumper up while you're drilling because you can do it by yourself, but you're gonna need tape, like holding the splitter in place and then you're gonna have to hold it while you drill. You can drill through, obviously. 
The install was actually not that hard, especially with two people. If you have three, it's even better because then you can hold it in the same place while you're doing that. And then we also want to touch on the uh, bumper carrier, which Connor will explain. So a lot of people probably don't know this, but this black piece in the back, it's it's what actually holds your bumper into place. It's different on an M car versus a non M car because the non M cars don't have this kind of bumper stock. You can see there's like a little bend in the metal. Like it's not too much. I don't think it would actually matter if you mounted a non M bumper carrier there, but it's something to take of note if you don't have a M car and are just trying to get an M bumper onto it. Yeah, so if you're trying to mount an M bumper on your non M car, you'll probably have to get a new bumper carrier so that it can actually stand the bumper. This also kind of second acts as a crash bar, but basically how it comes off as you see, this is really ghetto, but you get the, there will be clips on top of here, which clip into the bumper itself. And then obviously your fog light connector is coming to here and it sits down there. Now, since you're all gonna be curious about the fog light, here's how this works. So this is your fog light, obviously. And then back here, you have a bracket. This bracket comes off, there's a little thing there. And then it like, it essentially like opens up this way. And then the bracket goes on behind here so the bracket sits behind here and then the fog light essentially goes up in front of it uh it's the same for both sides and that's how you get the fog lights in connor's decided he wanted to stick with the clear fog lights since they actually came with the bumper surprisingly again for 180 dollars it's pretty good value uh, so we're gonna mount these up and put the center trim in which is pretty straightforward you'll see on the center trim there's like little tabs where it kind of goes in and then we're going to drill holes for the skid plate and we're going to get it back on the car okay guys we're back we got it on i'll let connor tell you about the details so after way too many hours as sunny said it's actually on and it looks pretty good it looks pretty soft uh there's just a few things that you can't notice right now because the trim is over it but there's a slight crease in the bumper right here it's nothing big it honestly took us a while to even notice it and then another thing about the splitter is going to be you're going to have a little gap right here that could have just been an issue with how we mounted it but i believe it's just the splitter so it's not very noticeable most most people won't ever say anything to you about that but if you do really want that oem look or you're a purist you know that's the kind of thing you care about and then the last thing the most painful part about this entire job is the fog light brackets and the number one thing i would say with the new bumper is make sure you keep those old fog light brackets as long as they work because the new ones they give you are not the greatest but aside from that the bumper looks great it mounts pretty well and it's it wasn't the worst installation ever okay so to wrap that up uh that's the ebay bumper uh I ever, that's everyone's question is ebay ltw wings and ebay bumpers so that's that's part of it pretty good considering the price uh, if you're we'll link it i think i said this before but we'll link it in the description below and you guys can check it out for yourselves but uh yeah it looks uh uh pretty mint